Wingy Boxing IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Here with Paige Murney, Commonwealth Silver Medalist. How's it feel, Paige? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Has it all uh, sunk in? I'll give you a couple of weeks to let it all settle down. Uh, how, how was the whole experience? If you could sort of sum it up, what, what's in your mind if you could re reflect on the whole experience? It's just an incredible experience. I don't think it'll ever sink in, to be honest, because it happened so quick. Um, I don't think it'll ever sink in. And uh, tell people um, about yourself. Um, how, how did you get into the sport? So I just started fitness, really. I went to um, just a, like a youth club type thing. So I've always been in sport as a kid. I never thought I'd ever box and then just got in the ring, got hit, started hitting people. I just loved it. How did you feel when, uh, when, when you started taking those punches? I just think, oh, you're getting it back even worse. <laughs> oh, see, that's a good attitude. When I got clonked in the nose, I thought, nah, I allow this. I'll just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just watch it. Oh, good. So, um, do, do you have any particular like, influences, uh, like boxers that you've watched, that you've, or is it just a style that's uh, even naturally sort of developed? Not really. I think my, just, my style just developed over the years. I'm sort of like, I'm quite tall for my weight, so I'm sort of a, a boxer, but I like to have a good scrap as well. I always get told to keep to my boxing because right. I've got the attributes, but I, I love getting in close as well and fighting a bit. Yeah, so I was going to say when I was watching you, because you're quite light on your toes, you've got nice, clean, straight punches. Yeah, yeah. But if they, would you agree that if they come to you, then it switches on and then you start sort of getting into it? Yeah, yeah, because like... I sort of think, oh, this person's trying to push me back. Yeah. Let's see how strong they are and push them back. So, yeah, because I'm, I'm long, I get told to box a bit more, but I, I like fighting as well. And could you tell me about your uh, sort of like training slash coaching setup when you was over there because Hutch wasn't in the corner directly was he? No, no. So I was over there with um, the GB coaches obviously because we're representing Team England. So obviously I've not been on the programme that long. So when I was over there I'd got the letter that I'd just got on. So I've been under the, on there under a year when I was out there. Yeah. So obviously I've had my club coach in my corner a lot, Hudge, and it is all our pop. So to have someone else in your corner it's a bit different but it's something I've just got to get used to. Um, did you sort of like miss his voice when you was in there? How, how, how was that? Because no, because he was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you, have you not seen yeah, the interview? Yeah, I've seen it. He yeah. was shouting for the whole Leicester in that crowd. You could hear him, And yeah. CJ and Sean as well, obviously, they was there. But he was there, so it, it was like just having him on the corner. There's times he's not been there, and I found it harder. But like I said, it's up, I've got to go through these experiences and learn to be there on my own in the corner because yeah. he's not always going to be there. Of course, yeah. Obviously he's got the boys down the gym so not everything, Some sometimes it clashes so I've just got to get used to him not being there and just rely on myself. And uh, so first round against Papua New Guinea's Soma, talk me through that fight. I've never been more nervous in my life. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> I was so nervous. But obviously Hudge was there and it just, just my world became small then. I just knew that it was just another boxing ring. Forget the cameras, forget everything else. You're just fighting another girl. And to be fair, it was a, it was a good fight from the first fight because I just kept it long and just boxed her head off. So yeah, it was a good fight, my first one. And then obviously I had three more, so I had four fights to get my silver medal. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So when you, um, like, like you said, it was nervous when you was going there, did you sort of channel that? Or, or how do you contain the nerves, I guess, I guess is what I'm asking, when you get in there? Because it was a big occasion, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, as soon as I got in the ring, it was just another fight. Right, yeah. Yeah, just another fight, so. And that's a good attribute to take forward, isn't it? Because um, if you are nervous, say, say uh, in future fights, yeah. you can say you can access it as in, it's just another fight, boom, and then, then yeah. off you go. just another fight. And I think nerves are good anyway. If you didn't get nervous, I think there's something wrong with you. Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs> wicked. Um, so second fight, uh, Alana in the hell. Yeah, you got unanimous decision win, uh, Northern Ireland, wasn't she? Yeah, we know each other really well. And we boxed each other before going into the game. We boxed each other five times, and I had the better of that out of the five. Um, but on paper, it was a tough opponent because she got a bronze at the last Commonwealth, so she's had a lot more fights than me, a lot more experience. But I knew I could could beat her. Started off well with some nice, clean, sort of straight hands, yeah. but then you sort of settled into it. Did you, she yeah? Didn't... After, after cause she had two points, took off for a, a low head, so I had to use my brain then. I think right, I need to not get involved here. I've potentially got another two fights after this and obviously boxing day after day you have to be smart and know like be careful that you don't get any injuries or anything like that and um semi-finals Nigeria's Onunga that was a fiery start wasn't it yeah it was, it was a tough fight she, she, was, was, she was quite a strong girl so 
She wasn't using so much technique as such. She was just no, like scrapping. No, I think I she? think some of them countries, the the game, they're fit, they're strong, and they just come at you. And then a three round fight, it's it's harder to sort of um, pick your shots. And, yeah. Because it's so intense for those three threes. So if it was pros over six or eight rounds, them tough tough fights you can get out of there. But because it's only three rounds, you sort of have to adjust a bit quicker, and it's a bit harder, I think. Okay, and uh, Australia's uh, Stridsman, talk me through that fight, that final. I've not watched it back yet, actually. Me, I'm waiting for me and my coach to watch it back tomorrow. But um, she was quite awkward, yeah. and I had an extra fight than her, and I think it, everything just played its part. But it's all experience. That was my only 11th international fight, that fight in their final. That's crazy when you think yeah. about it, isn't it? Yeah. So in terms of international experience, I've not had much. But when I was going out there, people were saying, oh, it's just experience, just experience. But myself, I expect nothing less than the gold. And even with the silver now, if you see my face on the podium, the people who know me, they know that weren't, that weren't a real smile because I've just lost and I hate losing. So for me, um, I'm only looking for gold medals. Okay, that's an interesting attitude. So you've got, you're not necessarily, even though obviously it's a fantastic achievement, yeah, but you're not yeah, necessarily I'm content happy, with it. I'm happy-ish, but... I don't, I don't like getting anything other than gold, so I'll be happy with it for now, but the Olympics, the next Commonwealth, just gold only. And you said um, in an interview that your mum's the backbone, your, your, your backbone. Yeah. Could you explain to me her influence in your boxing and life in general? She's just an amazing woman. She like looks after me. Even though I'm getting old now, she literally runs around after me all the time. Um, she's brought me up well, and my dad, and then obviously my pops in the boxing world. Um, so yeah, they all have a massive impact on my boxing career and my life in general. Do fighters like um, uh, Tasha Jonas and Katie Taylor, do you look up to them? Do they influence you or are you on your own sort of path? Um, I sort of looked up to them when I was a bit younger because they were doing great things for women's boxing. But in terms of now, I look at them and think, oh, if I sparred with them, I'd want to beat them. So what could I do to beat them? Love that Whereas when I was younger, <laughs> I looked up to them because yeah. they've done so much for women's boxing. But now I'm looking just to beat, to beat everyone. Obviously, like I said, I've not got a lot of ex experience internationally, and I've got a lot to learn, but I want to be in the best of the world. So if I didn't have that attitude, then I won't become the best in the world. And I saw before you went out there, or it might be when you was out there, you got a, uh, I think it was an email of support from uh, Big Frank Warren. What, what was that like? That must yeah, been... yeah. Obviously our boys were with yeah. Frank Warren, so to get that support is amazing. Oh, wicked, okay. And um, Do you have any thoughts on the um, uh, Selby Warrington card, which uh, obviously... Um, yeah, your brother in boxing, Leon's going to be fighting on. Any yeah, thoughts on I'm it? Yeah, I'm so happy as well because I get to go to that now. I thought I was going to miss it to go to Europeans, but then we've pushed back a bit now. So I've got Europeans in six weeks. So I can go support Leon. Sometimes I get annoyed when I, I miss their fights, but I'm <laughs> so happy I can go watch him. So to be honest, Leon's the main card on that fight for me because I'm watching Leon. Yep. But I think... Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's happy that I said that. Look at him. Yeah. But um, in terms of Selby and Warrington, I agree with Leon. I think... Um, Selby will just be too good for him. I think he'll be picking off, picking him off with his boxing. But I think it'll be a great fight. Oh, wicked. Okay. And any uh, final thoughts for your fans, supporters? Any any words? Um, yeah, if you don't know about me already, go follow me on Instagram, Paige oh, Manny. And I just want to say a massive thank you to the whole Leicester who supported me in the Commonwealth Games and my sponsors, Shane from Kong Events and Richard Wall. Without them, I wouldn't be where I am now because... I only gave up my part-time job eight weeks ago, so I want to say a massive thank you for them for all the backing and all the support. And uh, can I just say, my wife's a massive fan of yours. Is she? Yeah, Maria <laughs> Wingy, she comments, she's always liking your pictures, so uh, she'll call me if I don't say that. I might get no cooking <laughs> if I don't go home and say that. She knows I was coming today. Paige Murney, thank you for giving me your time. Thank you for speaking to Wingy Boxing and IFL TV, and we look forward to following your progress and career. Thank you. Thank you very much.